Welcome pool players, Josh Powell here, you're watching Amateur Pool. Today we've got a nine ball match and we're also joined by a very special guest, Miss Olivia McKinney. How are you? Hi guys, it's nice to finally make my grand appearance. Grand appearance, <laughs> I've been begging this lady forever to come uh, do a video with me and here she is. This is my daughter, Olivia, she does not know pool, she doesn't play pool, so it should be a fun perspective. Um, get both sides, guys. So. Um, I didn't see who just broke, but looks like Joe is now at the table. He's the guy coming up to the table. That's Joe. So on nine ball, they have to shoot the balls in order, starting with the one and going up to the nine. Uh, normal nine ball, you win the game by making the nine, but here on APA, you get points for every ball you make. And you have to go to a certain number of points. Okay, so do you know what this race is? Yep, these guys are both skill level sixes. So that means their, their race is even. I believe they go to four. 46, if I'm not mistaken, okay. but we'll find out at the end. Okay. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> all right, Joe just missed a shot. This is Trevor at the table now. He's going to shoot that one ball. He's got to get all the way down for that blue two on the other end of the table. Scratch. So now we've got two dead balls. So when you make a ball and scratch, the ball's considered dead because nobody gets that point. Okay. So if you see down here where it says dead balls, so we got see. one dead ball so far. So hopefully not too many dead balls because there'll be a very long race, right? Exactly. Yeah. If there's a lot of dead balls, usually it means it's a long game. Joe's, Joe shoots pretty fast, so I've seen him shoot a bunch. And Trevor's on my team, so I know Trevor shoots pretty well. I think the, the match is pretty quick. Shut. Right when I say that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, so now we've got two dead balls. Zero score, guys. There's been four balls pocketed and no score. The cue ball's been pocketed twice, and the one and two were pocketed. I called it. Yeah, geez. All right, Trev's got ball in hand here. Let's see if he can make a ball without scratching. That's the key. Hey, there let's, we go. Let's celebrate that little victory of, of finally making Points a ball. On the board. Yeah. All right, he's gonna shoot this for. He'll probably hit it nice and easy, so he can shoot the orange five up here next. Back up table. Now to get on the six, he'll probably just hit top and roll the cue ball forward. So that way he has a shot on the green six. Yep, very nice. He's got a little angle now, so tough shot. Olivia, you play pool every once in a while. You think you make the shot? You know, I'm not the most confident that I would make it. <laughs> she's just, uh, she's got a lot of stuff going on, guys. Pool's not uh, not her big interest. She does, uh, she does respect the game, but she just doesn't play it. The black know? sheep of the family. Black sheep, That's guys. what I'm called, the black sheep. <laughs> I have a kid that doesn't play pool. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? All right, this is a tough cut. Oh, and he was way off on it, too. Way off. Oh, or was he? Wow. <laughs> so can you slop it in then? You can, okay. yeah. And very good note. That was a slop. He did not mean to do that. I do uh, know a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> in nine ball, it doesn't matter where the ball goes. As long as you hit the lowest ball on the table first, anything can fall. Okay. Even the nine. And you get two points for that if so the you nine don't goes call, in. So you don't call the nine? Correct. Okay. You do not have to call the nine. There's another game similar to nine ball, but it's ten ball. And though that game, you have to call your shots. That was a nice bank you just made. Nice bank he just made. Well, Trevor's coming out strong here. If he makes this, it'll be eight to zero with two dead balls in the first rack. Oh, oh just off. That yeah, was off a bit. It walked out. If it goes past the side pocket, okay. He left him a cut. Left him a cut. Joe hasn't had much warm up yet, though. He's only had one shot and he scratched. So let's see what he what he does here if he can pocket pocket this ball. Oh, just oh, off as well. He shot it a little fast, kind of jabbed at it and stood up. You know, Joe's a fast shooter normally. Um, but even if you're going to shoot fast, you got to take your time when you're down on the shot and really focus in on it so you don't miss it. But he gave Trevor that nine ball. He didn't make him shoot it. He said, it's easy. Go ahead and have it. So Trevor is breaking uh, Joe Rack, second rack. So Joe, uh, Trevor made one ball. I can't tell which ball it is. I think it's a three ball. He made the three ball, but he's got to hit this one ball up here, and he's kind of hidden by it. So he's going to have to try to get creative here to hit that ball. It's not easy. Nice. 
And I see he's thinking on this one a little bit more. Yeah. How he can get around there. This is a tough one. I don't think he's a, he's, he doesn't have a real good path because he's going to have to come off a rail and these balls are blocking that side. Uh, so he's going to try to come off of the, our left rail. Um, but the problem is it's going to be tough to hit because that side pocket's kind of in the way of where he needs to be. Yeah. Good try. Yeah, it was a good try. That was a tough shot. So what do you do, Olivia, if you don't play pool? Tell people what do you do. Um, well, I'm a student. Student. Um, finishing up my bachelor's in criminology and um, investigation. And then I work full time. So not much time in my life doing anything other than school and work, what, unfortunately. What you're saying is you're responsible. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> or boring. Some That's people no call it boring. <laughs> Responsibility sucks, man. Nobody likes being responsible. But some people have to be responsible. If the whole world was irresponsible, we would never get nothing done. That's true. You know? So we appreciate you. <laughs> Us irresponsible people My appreciate you. My sacrifice for yeah. all of you guys. <laughs> Thanks for the sacrifice, Olivia. All right. So Joe's Joe shot at that five ball or the two ball. He tried to bank it and missed. So Trevor's going to try to bank it back. He missed as well. This is a slow game so far. It does take off, though. I know the match isn't super long, so they will catch fire here in a minute. So this is a kind of a tough cut, and the cue ball, when he cuts it, the cue ball is going to travel over towards that four, and he's got to be careful not to scratch. He's putting bottom on the cue ball. He's still oh, scratched, though. So what happens if you hit um, your target ball, so just then the two, and you were to hit another one and it went in, would that count as a point? Yep. Okay. And you still get to shoot. That's just slopping a ball in. As long as you hit your target ball first, anything else can go in. No big deal. But anything else that goes in is additional points. That's yep. what I'm okay. Absolutely. And all the balls are worth one except the nine. It's worth two. I see. And I think I, I think these guys are playing to 46 points, if I'm not mistaken. They're both skill level sixes, and I don't recall off the top of my head what the sixes race to. I think it's 46. Okay. So Trev's got nine. Joe's got one. And we're deep into the second rack already, so... Someone's going to have to start shooting here in a minute to get some points. Trevor's got a good chance here. The five ball's tough, though, because now he has to bank it, right? There's no, no real place to, to put it other than trying to bank it here. Problem with the bank is it's going to do what's called a double kiss. So when he hits the five, the five's going to hit the rail, and then it's going to come straight off the rail and hit the cue ball again. And that's why he, he can't get it to bank where he wants to because the cue ball's in the way. Right over my head. Yeah, yeah. I would have never yeah. saw that. He's been hanging out with little Timmy too much, this girl. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> All right. Joe's got a tough shot here. He's shooting over top of the seven. So instead of taking the shot, he's playing safe. He wanted to get him behind the eight ball so he couldn't actually see the five ball. He didn't quite get there, but the six ball is still blocking it. So it's still, still a tough shot here for Trevor. He's going to kick at it from the, the bottom end of the pocket, that bottom end of the table. Just That's missed close. it. This is a good try. This is a tough one. You guys notice Olivia keeps me on my, my P's and Q's. I don't mess around as Best much. behavior. <laughs> she's here. She's like the warden, you know. <laughs> she keeps me in line. All right. Joe's going to, Joe, he's about to see, uh, he's going to shoot quick now. Uh, once he gets into a rhythm, he shoots fast. Pocketed the, the five and the six. He'll shoot this uh, seven, come up table. Now he's got the eight. He'll play this one with some left spin, come off this rail and back down for the nine in the bottom right pocket. So is there benefit to, um, you know, when you get into a rhythm like that and you just, you're shooting quick, or does it just depend on the person? So it's different individuals. Like some people shoot real fast. Some people shoot a little slower, but the important part is a rhythm. Whether it's a fast rhythm or a slow rhythm, if you keep the same timing and the same rhythm when you're when you're shooting well, um, it's going to help you a lot. If you if you start if you're shooting fast and then all of a sudden you stop and throw your rhythm off, your next shot's going to change a little bit. I see. It's, it's weird. So just keeping your stroke the same. Keeping your rhythm, yeah, your tempo, like your time in between shots. Everything is a tempo, and what you watch people when they're shooting good, you can almost time it from shot to shot. It'll be almost the same. 
I see. Because they're in a rhythm. They're just feeling good and shooting. Yeah, we saw that a little bit at the end of the last rack. Yeah. Joe's a good good one to watch for that because Joe shoots what, what we call like free wheel. Um, he doesn't think about a lot of stuff on the pool table. He just kind of shoots off the way he feels mm -hmm. and gets up there and fires it, which is good when you get into a rhythm. Um, people shoot real well that way. But when you get into a pressure situation or when there's a lot of money on the line or it's an important tournament, you can't rely on that you know, freewheeling, shooting on feel. Yeah, you have nerves. to be able to, you have to be able to think and, and focus. Makes sense. Yeah. Because your, your body mechanics just won't take over and, and let you do it. Yeah. Too much pressure on it. Who's that guy giving him a coach? Who's that good looking fella out there coaching <laughs> him? All right. I told him to kick soft. I remember this. I told him to kick soft and push the one ball up behind the nine, but he ended up kicking hard and missing it all together. It wasn't my fault. I was a good coach, you know. That's a shooter <laughs> error. Shooter's error. <laughs> all right, he's letting Joe back at the table now. Joe's only three points behind, and he's got ball in hand. It's a good chance he catches up here. He'll put a little bottom left on this one, come around the nine. This one he'll probably use top with left spin, come off the top rail, um, go around the eight ball and back down table. But there's other ways to do it, too. He could just use straight draw uh, and still probably backspin his draw. So a cue ball comes backwards mm -hmm. after it hits. He could probably do it that way, too. Let's see which way he does it. Notice he's taking a minute to think about this shot. I think he's looking more at his three ball, what he's going to do with a three, than, the, than what he's going to do with this two ball. He's looking at his next ball. He's using top left. Mm. That left spin is why he hit the eight ball, or the right spin, I'm sorry, he used top right. But the right spin is why he hit the eight ball. If he would have just used top or top left, he would have went around the eight ball and went all the way back nice. down to eight ball. Mm. Questionable. Questionable whether he hit the red or the, the purple one first there. I'm not sure on that one. It's close, but when it's that close, Olivia, if, if the... If Trevor didn't ask somebody to watch it, then it always goes Just to the keep shooter. Going. Always goes to the shooter, yeah. Unless Trevor would have said, hey, hold on, let me have someone watch this shot. Yeah. Because then they could have called it a foul or a good hit. I think someone said something off camera about how close that hit was, and he was stopping to. My guess is that it was probably you. <laughs> no, I don't think it was me on this time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you can't get away with that shit. Oh, uh, shark, he sharked himself though, or somebody off camera sharked him because he was off his, off his game. He wasn't focusing there. He just fired it. Joe's a good dude though. If, if someone said something like that might've been a bad hit, Joe probably felt bad. The fact that somebody else even thought it was a bad hit, he yeah. probably felt bad, you know, because he doesn't want anyone to think he's cheat. I mean, he wouldn't cheat anybody. Joe's a good dude. Far as that I was hard tell. to see regardless. So Yeah, and it was close. And, and the two things there. One, if you don't call a spotter, it always goes to the shooter. But two, if it's so close, it looks like they hit at the exact same time, that's, a, that's not a foul. It's a good hit. So if you do what's called a split where you hit two balls at once, that's a good hit for the shooter. Trevor's oh, off his close. game too, missing those shots like that. Kind of surprises me. Kind of surprises me. Did Trevor recently go up, or has he been a six for a while? Um, he went up to a six a few months back. So I think he's been a six maybe for like three months, maybe three or four months. He was a five for a while. He was a five, five, five and eight, five and nine. Now I think he's a six and eight and nine. Hmm. Which is weird. Yeah. Usually someone's one or the other. Yeah, or they're higher in nine ball than they are because nine ball goes all the way up to skill level nine. Eight ball only goes to seven. I see. So usually if you're like a, a six and eight ball, you'll be like a seven or an eight and nine ball. Or if you're a five and eight ball, you'll be a six or a seven and nine ball. Usually you're one higher, but not always. Well, that was a good shot by, by JoJo. JoJo hit a good one there. I think he finishes this out, huh? I don't see him missing that nine ball. All right, 16, <laughs> 16 to 11. Just making sure you're still awake. Still here. I know how, how much fun it is for you to watch pool. 
you know? You know, I actually enjoy watching pool. (laughs) Do you do? I do. Usually when it's people I know. Oh, yeah. Um, Obviously, I know Trevor, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I like it just because I play it. You know, I realize if you don't play pool, it's kind of a boring. boring I'm not going to watch it in my free time just because random people, but. (laughs) You're not watching my videos in your free time, Olivia? That's the exception. Oh, But when everyone's here, I don't mind watching it. She's lying. (laughs) (laughs) So I see Joe took the lead. Yeah, Joe's, Joe took a good lead. He's up six balls right now, but Trevor's got a shot here. He can come back if he just keeps his head in it. Started off strong. It was a good shot. Is he going to scratch? Close. Close. Trevor McKibben and Joe Basha. I kind of like Joe's last name. It's fun yeah, to it's say. Yeah, it's kind of a fun name. It's like Basha. Sounds like a, an Egyptian god or something. <laughs> we come to you, Lord Basha. <laughs> oh, that's probably sacrilegious, I bet. Forgive me. I was thinking that, but. Sorry. Feel bad, guys. Feel bad. <laughs> Let's forget I said it. Rewind the tape, delete it. Let's forget I said it. All right, Joe's going to fire this bank in. Oh, he tried, though. Okay, left Trevor a combo. So Trevor's going to have to hit the blue two ball into the purple four and make the purple four. Pretty easy shot here. It's not that hard because the four is so close to the pocket anyway. All he's got to do is hit it. There he goes. Now he's got a shot on the two next. All he's got to do is hit the right side of this two, and the cue ball should come straight down table, right close to the middle of the table by the pot center pocket. Flash you. Oh, I knew that was coming. Kazoon tight. Yeah, Trev looks good here. He might be able to the six. So when he shoots the six to get on to the seven, that's really the challenge of this rack. That's the hardest, hardest thing he's got left. He got on the six nice. Kind of a weird angle to get on the seven from here, though. Kind of tough. Let's see how he does it. Let's see if he gets to the seven ball. No. Not a whole lot he can do here except bank it, I think. He's going to try to bank it. He might play a safety, actually. I think he calls for a coach here, if I'm not mistaken. I think I remember this. Guess not. No, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Yep. There he is. There's that good looking <laughs> guy again. <laughs> All right. Just giving him some options, guys. I mean, I mean, Trevor's a skill level six. So <clears throat> when I'm coaching somebody who already knows how to play like Trevor, I, I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just giving him some options the way I see. Love different things he can do, and he can choose whichever way he likes best. So as where a lower skill level player may be trying to just make a complete wrong shot that's going to cost them the game or the match, I may tell them, don't shoot that shot. You know, look mm-hmm. for one of these two shots. But with a skill level six, they usually don't do that. They usually don't make fatal errors like that. So I can just show him, hey, I see this. I see here. You can do this or this. And he can decide what he wants to do. It's nice to have those options laid out for <clears> you. <throat> Yeah, sometimes someone else off of the table can see it a little easier than you can at the table. He hit that one hard. He was trying to stick the cue ball behind the eight ball so the guy didn't have a shot on the seven. It's almost like he could, was he trying to shoot the seven? Yeah, yeah, he was trying to put the seven up here and then leave the cue ball right where it was at back here behind the eight ball. He almost could have made it just shooting that a little harder. could have, but it's a tough shot, so he didn't want to take the risk. He was trying to play a safety instead. Because if you take that tough shot and you miss it, it's a tough shot, so chances are you're going to miss it. Yeah. And if you miss it, then your opponent just won that game. You know. So he was trying to play a safety, and in that case, he, he didn't play the safety correctly. He hit it too hard, and his opponent still won the game. 21-16 to 16 now. This is turning into a proper ass whooping. You know? Started off okay. Yeah. He definitely needs this rack, which yeah. is hard when he's not breaking. Yeah, yeah. Trev's got to he's got to do something. He's got some balls he's got to put down. So what do you think about here in the hot seat in front of the lights? It's definitely different. Your brother's done it twice. This is finally, finally you get to be on video. 
Well, hopefully you guys like me better than my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to bet they do. Comment Olivia if you like Olivia. Yeah, comment. Thumbs up this video. Give her a like and a comment, guys. Do it and for And subscribe. Her. I like you better than Jamal, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's always a tough shot when your cue ball is on the rail like that. He did a good job with that. That's a tough shot. Wow, that was cool at the end how it like... Kind of spun up. Yeah, yeah. so that was intentional, right? Yeah, I think he was trying to hit this nine ball a little bit because his two balls blocked up. So he was trying to put a little spin and hit the uh, nine ball, but he missed it. And then the cue ball I just see. kind of came out table. That looked cool. Yeah, heck yeah. That's why a lot of people like watching trick shots, right? Because yeah. whether you know anything about pool or not, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Joe reminds me of the Fonzie. The Fon I don't you probably you you've never seen an episode of Happy Days in your life, did you? This guy in there named Fonzie wore a leather jacket and he had black hair that he slicked back and he would always go, hey. <laughs> it's a, it's old, I think it was from like the 50s or 60s it's called happy days i can't believe you've never heard of that i'm i've failed as a father guys i failed <laughs> that's on you i failed just never heard of happy days it was a it was a extremely popular tv show back when there in used the to 50s? be in the 50s back when there used <laughs> to be regular tv instead of all this internet tv yeah, back in the day yeah you know people watch it on their 19 inch tube tv <laughs> You know, mostly they watch it because what in order to change, is? yeah, in order to change the channel, they actually had to get up and go to the TV. Oh, that would be devastating no, in this era. <laughs> no remote controls <laughs> back then, so I mean, you watch whatever channel it was on, unless you unless you weren't lazy and you could get up. But if you're sitting on the couch watching TV, you're, you're being lazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun, fun days. And then people who had kids make their kids change the channel. Go, go, go switch that channel. Oh, that was a good try in that combo. He got a lucky leave out of it, too. He's got a kick at this seven. He should make a good hit. Yep. Oh, is he going to make it? He's going to make the eight. That's that question you asked me earlier about what happens when you hit your ball mm -hmm. and something else goes in. He still got the point. Uh-oh, Trevor. Yeah, it's, it's not, not looking, looking good. good. Not looking good for Trevor, but it's not over yet. I think Joe still needs like uh, 19 points. Ooh, he missed that too. Oh, is he going to slop this one in too? Say it ain't so, Joe. Oh, he didn't. He gave it to Trevor. So now Trevor's only behind by three three balls. What? So Oh, seven balls, sorry. No, yeah, That wasn't just me, guys. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> she don't let me get away with nothing. Worse than, worse than little Timmy, she is. Um, you see there's three dead balls, so the score always adds up to an even number. 27 to 20 plus three dead balls equals 50. What? Hmm? Oh, both of them? Yeah. All right. You said you're you're in pre-law? Not pre-math. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be able to count, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no happy days. You can't count. Jeez, guys. All right, Joe made a made a ball on the no. Trevor didn't make a ball on the break, and now Joe is shooting. He's that's a tough cut right here. Yeah, that's a tough shot. Oh, he got a lucky leave though. He hooked him. Trev's probably gonna kick off the bottom rail and try to hit it just like that. Oh no, he's looking at kicking over here on the side rail. What they call the long rail, not the short rail. Good hit. Good. Oh, he almost, almost made it. Almost made it, too. I don't know if he was trying to actually make it. He was just trying to hit it. Because if he doesn't hit it, Joe can move the ball wherever he wants. Ball in hand, they call it. Don't want that. This must be a, a sport with for people with good eyes. Kind, yeah, kind of. I'm having a hard time even seeing the the numbers on the balls. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Which. Welcome to my life. I'm always saying the wrong numbers on here, but it's different on this this screen we're watching. I guys we're watching on the editing software before we finish the video. Obviously, um, 
and this, the computer screen just doesn't have the best colors. So it's, it looks a lot better when we post it on TV or on your phone. It'll look a lot better. It's a lot easier to see that way. What are, this guy's on fire, man. He's just banking things in. He's running around the table, but now he's, is that the four ball or the eight ball there? I think it's the eight. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. This guy, this guy can't miss. Trev was doing all right there a minute ago, but not so much anymore. He needs a pep talk. Wow. Yeah, he's down by 14 now. He'll be down by 17 if Joe finishes this rack, which it looks like he will. Oh, just kidding. I cursed him. Commentator curse. <laughs> Commentator curse. Trevor needs all these points. Yeah, this, and this isn't an easy shot to start with either. Oh, he did a oh no. He did a good job cutting it in. Just didn't control the cue ball. Trev gave him that one. Now we're looking at thirty six to twenty. You see how there's four dead balls, so it still mm -hmm. adds up to an even number. Man, Trev's getting stomped. I haven't seen Trev get beat like this in a while since he was born, and the doctor spanked him. <laughs> All right, here's his chance. Buckle down. That Every time he gets a good opportunity with ball in hand, he's got a tough table. Like, See where that two ball's at over here, the blue yeah. one next to the purple? He's got to come from this ball he's shooting at now, the one ball, and figure out a way to make that two ball down there. It's hard. Oh, especially. Oh, he might be able to see it. Oh, no, three ball, I think, is in his way, that red one. In his way. He's had a lot of tough shots. Yeah, he hasn't been getting a, a lot of good rolls or anything either. You know, like every time, like I said, every time he gets a good opportunity, he's got a tough table. Yeah. Joe And Joe's shooting well, and he slapped those balls in on that one rack. Yeah. You know, I just, sometimes it happens that way. Pool's funny like that. No matter how good you shoot, you can't win every match. Sometimes the balls just do not go your way. That was a good hit, good try, and he got safe. Safe. What's he gonna do with that? What are you gonna do way? now, Joe? What are you gonna do? To, yeah, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kick it off the long rail. Oh, he oh. just missed it. It was a good try. Good try. All right, now here's a real opportunity for Trevor. His toughest thing here is the four ball because it's right, the five ball's blocking it, but he can make that on a combo. He can make the four into the five. From here, though, where he ends up on the three is crucial. Yeah, he can't really get back for the combo so easy with this shape. He may end up banking the four, actually, from here. Yep, yeah, he's going to bank that four ball. That's not, he lined up on it nice for the bank, though. He's going to put it right over here in the side pocket. Would be the, our right side pocket. Can he do it? That yeah, nice. that was a good shot. That was a good shot. So people are probably going to wonder, how old are you, Olivia? 22. 22. How is that possible when I'm only 30? Well, I guess you were, <laughs> you were 10. <laughs> I'm not 30. guys. I'm 32. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Trav, let's go. Let's come back. Let's beat Mr. Basha. That is a fun last name. <laughs> oh, in and out. In and out. That's a bummer when that happens, too. He was starting to be on a roll. He could have came back. He was only down by 11 now. He could have finished that rack and got another one, two, three, four, five points and only been down by six. But instead, Joe's going to punish him. They're going to a what, for 40? 46, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it's 46. We got, uh, it's almost over. It's almost over. They may not even be going to 46. 39. Guess we'll see. Yeah, I think they're going to 46. If I'm not mistaken. Pretty good, pretty good. So when we end the video, I'm going to bring in a backdrop. What backdrop? Where do you want to end the video from? The beach somewhere? Hawaii? Where do you want to end the video from? 
I don't know. All right, we'll end it from the beach. Might as well. Wearing hoodies. <laughs> It'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. We'll end it from the beach in hoodies. Don't forget to watch to the end for our beach conclusion. That's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I ended my last video in the White House, sitting at the, oh, in the Oval I Office. I want to be somewhere cool. Where do you want to be? We can be anywhere. Hmm. That's, a green, that's called a green screen. We can be anywhere we want. Let me think on this for a minute. All right. Well, you got about you got about twenty seconds. Yeah, you got about thirty <laughs> seconds or so. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> All right. So if it's forty six, which I think it is, he only has to make that four ball and that five ball. Four ball is a little bit of a tough cut. He got it though. Is he going to come around for the five? He sure is. That was a pretty nice shot right there. That's game. That's it right there. Wow. All right, you took too long to decide, so guess what? We're in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's good with me. We're in front of the Eiffel <laughs> That's the Eiffel Tower right there behind us, guys. What do you think about that? Took my daughter to Paris. Hey, I got a new, new line of uh, short rail merch. These hoodies are super comfortable and soft. It's got a, a design on the back. Pretty sweet. I'll show you the back of the design right here. If you want to order them, the link's in the description. <laughs> Olivia, any last words, man? No, thanks for having me on. I'm glad to finally make my appearance, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm glad you finally came, man. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.